hello youtube and welcome to another windows tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you how to monitor and manage all your gpus with the nvidia smi command line interface so are you ready let's get started so first thing first what is nvidia smi so actually the nvidia smi stands for nvidia system management interface and it is a command utility based on the top of the NVIDIA management library in VML, okay? And this command line utility is intended to aid in the management and monitoring of NVIDIA GPU devices. So, for example, if you have NVIDIA card, when you first install the driver, this utility is actually getting also installed. And you can use it in order to monitor and manage your GPU okay so first thing first the location it's pretty straightforward on the Windows uh, system the location for this utility which is here in Nvidia SMI.exec is located on the system 32 actually path of your system okay so after that you can just fire up your terminal so i will just here type in search cmd okay and i can run cmd or command prompt as an administrator okay here we go so you can actually uh, use this uh, command prompt in order to execute cmi or nvidia cmi commands so the first command that we're gonna use is actually to list all GPU in our system so we just type NVIDIA SMI minus capital L in order to list all GPUs okay so here we go I have an NVIDIA GeForce GT 710 GPU it's quite an old GPU but it's still working okay so of course your system can has many GPUs it will be listed if you are using this command okay but the most used actually command is NVIDIA SMI without any arguments so let's type it and see the output so if I just type NVIDIA SMI I will get actually here as you can see two tables so I have the version of NVIDIA SMI the driver version as you can see here and the CUDA version also okay those are very important uh, information if you want to see if your system is up actually to that to update actually okay so the first table as I told you contains some basic information about your GPU okay so as you can see here it gets the GPU ID which is in my case zero because I only have one I have the name of my GPU which of course as listed above it's NVIDIA GeForce GT 710 okay and also you can get the fan speed the temperature the performance the power usage and capacity but here as you can see on my card I don't have actually a power supply attached to it so i get nothing on for example on the power usage and capacity and also my gpu doesn't has actually a fan so i will show you here a picture of another actually gpu in order to see the output so here i have nothing for the actually the fan or uh, power supply or something like that power usage so let me show you another picture of another GPU so you can see the values here we go so for example in this GPU you can see that I have here the fan which is in percentage here it's showing 34 percent okay we have what we call the performance which is P8 so the performance range for the NVIDIA is actually from 0 to 12 and 0 is the maximum and P12 is the minimum okay and here you can see that 
for this card it has the power usage which is here displayed in watts so I have one watt of power usage and the capacity is 30 actually watts okay you can also get the bus ID the display A okay and the memory usage okay so as you can see here the display A is off for this card so the display active is a flag that decides if you want to allocate memory on CPU device for display for example to initiate the display on CPU or actually GPU okay so here it is on off indicates that there, is, there isn't any display using the GPU device okay and of course you have the memory usage which denotes the memory allocation on the GPU out of total memory okay you have also the volatile incorrect ECC so ECC stands actually for uh, error correction code which verifies that data is transmission by locating and correcting transmission errors okay you have what we call the GPU util it indicates the percent of GPU utilization which means the percent of the time when kernels were using GPU over the sample period okay you have the compute M so the compute mode actually of a specific GPU refers to the shared access mode where compute mode sets to default after each reboot so the default value allows multiple client to access the GPU at the same time and uh, under that there is the process table which indicates the processes that are actually used by our GPU so we have uh, the PID which is actually uh, the process ID you have the type so the type refers to the process such, such as compute so if you see here C for the type it means compute if you see J it means graphics okay and if you see C plus J compute and graphic context okay so those are actually the basic info that you can get from your NVIDIA SMI command line utility okay so let's switch back to our terminal here or command prompt and here I will show you some uh, other commands that you can use for example the NVIDIA SMI but this time if you execute it as I told you it should show you the information at this time but you can actually refresh that in different intervals so if you want for example to uh, refresh the output every six seconds we use the prompt NVIDIA SMI minus but this time small L not capital L and here you specify how many seconds it will refresh the output and the default is five seconds so if I click just that I will get a refresh of the tables every five seconds okay so as you can see it refreshes itself every five seconds okay and in order to stop that you just hit ctrl C okay here we go another important command that you can also use is this SMI NVIDIA SMI minus Q for query which will actually give the same information but in the detailed format okay so I get the same output but here we have much details information so you can also use this command if you don't prefer the output to be displayed as tables okay and also you can uh, display specific output Okay. use another command so I will use minus Q and here I will specify the display I want to show so for example if you want to show just the information related to memory you just type 
minus q minus d and here you specify for example memory so we will get only the output related to the memory okay and of course finally you can uh, also get all these commands such a help using the minus h for help so it will list all the commands that you can use using this command okay so there are a bunch of commands that you can use so as i told you this command is not only intended for monitoring but it can also used to for example adjust some values so let's say for example you want to adjust the value of power limit for the this uh, gpu you can just use the command smi or nvidia smi minus power limit and here you specify actually the power limit for your cards for example if i want to limit it to just 150 watts i can just enter this command but me of course i don't have a power supply attached to my nvidia card so i will not change this value okay because it's not supported but you can also use as i told you the commands of nvidia smi in order to adjust some values okay so that was just a brief video to show you how you can use this uh, system management interface from NVIDIA in order to monitor and also manage your GPUs in your system. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or a like.